I'm here in the studio with special guest Terry Sheehan, who has made the trip to the Superior Media Studio um, to talk about the tariffs that uh, are being implemented on July 2nd. First. First? Yes. Wow, even sooner than I thought. Yep. <laughs> but also to talk a little bit um, about the Canada Day celebrations that are happening in the Sioux tomorrow. So Terry, What's going on? Are you going to be there? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I was in uh, Hamilton uh, yesterday as we announced um, our retaliatory uh, uh, trade measures, uh, the tariffs on uh, Americans' uh, products. It's dollar for dollar on steel and aluminum, plus a whole host and suite of other um, products. Uh, and some people are you know, surprised at how much we have done. But uh, it, we thought about um, you know, a very targeted um, program going dollar for dollar on steel and aluminum and then there's about 128 items including pickles and people are always asking well why the pickles well <laughs> just so happens there's a congressperson from uh, a district uh, who has been uh, anti uh, free trade uh, just not on steel and aluminum but on dairy forestry uh, solar panels you want to name it and just what happens in his district there is a pickle factory so those tariffs now uh, that he's so supported that are hurting uh, Canadian workers. Uh, he's going to see the effect in uh, his riding. So whether it's boats, uh, various food products, uh, very manufactured products, um, you know, we have applied those right now. So that's uh, part of it, and that was uh, part of it. But we also announced uh, equally and perhaps more importantly, I would suggest to you, mm -hmm support for steel and aluminum workers that right, have been affected. That. So there's two billion dollars in supports for the industry and for the steel workers and, uh, to support them. And what are some of the, the um, measures that are implemented to protect the steel workers? I know that's yep. a huge concern amongst people in Sault Ste. Marie being a steel yes. town. Can you tell me a little bit about how they'll, how they'll be protected moving forward? Um, right when the tariffs were announced we reacted with our list but uh, the Prime Minister called me to a meeting with the heads of the uh, Canadian steel producers um, and we listened to them and uh, they had ideas. Um, we also uh, been active throughout this uh, consultation period listening to the unions as well, uh, to the stakeholders, to the communities. On a Tuesday of this week I was at a special emergency international trade meeting where right. we heard a lot of what we wanted. and. Um, we're implementing those things. We listened and we implemented them. Uh, so to support the workers, there's a rapid response uh, unit. There is a suite of services uh, and supports around the steel worker that may be affected by these American tariffs, including extending uh, the EI benefit, uh, basically doubling the time uh, that someone can be on EI. And it's important because even as Cody Alexander has said from Tenaris is that Many times um, the EI time period uh, um, wraps up before the, these things are done. So that allows the person to continue to uh, support their family and themselves. Plus, we're giving more money to the provinces and territories to implement training and retraining programs. So whilst that person is uh, uh, laid off, they, uh, if they were a general laborer, maybe they want to go get a welding ticket or something like that. There is also money uh, in supports uh, to the industry itself, uh, $250 million in a strategic uh, investment fund, which uh, is there to support the liquidity of the, uh, the businesses to uh, make them stronger coming uh, you know, through this process. And in the long term, investing in uh, the plant itself. There's also supports um, for the industry to diversify its uh, market. Uh, taking advantage of the new uh, European trade agreements and the Asian trade agreements. Right. Even Mike DePratt from, was on your show, actually. I watched it, uh, and I talked to him right after he was on the show, and he talked about it, uh, that the government needs to focus on diversifying and just not relying on the American market. And he mentioned, we've well, got to look at Asia and, and, um, and Europe, and that's what we're doing. So we put $50 million for the industry to, to figure out how to do that. There's also one point... Well, there's 800 million and uh, uh, 900 million to the uh, Business Development Bank and to the Export Development um, uh, Corporation, again, to support small, medium, and larger businesses uh, through various uh, financial means, including uh, 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 low-term loans to, to, to get those people through, too, as well. So it's $2 billion 
Uh, the details are on the website and right. you know, people can delve into it, but it's important for people to know that you know, we have had a very thoughtful, uh, measured uh, response to these unfair, unjust uh, American tariffs and uh, they just found out how strong we are. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we'll be right back after this break and Terry, when we get back I want to talk a little bit about the plan moving forward sure. uh, with the tariffs. So yes. we'll be back.